Hey, what's up? It's DJ Cream, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can organize your music using iTunes. Before we get started, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes. So you want to go up to the iTunes menu and you want to click on check for updates. Now, if you don't have the latest version, you want to download and update your iTunes. Now, also, we're going to take a look at the import settings in case you want to import music into iTunes from a CD or from another source. To do that, we're going to go up to the iTunes menu and go to Preferences. Under the General tab, we're going to go to the Import Settings. We want to make sure that we are using the MP3 encoder. By default, is usually the AAC encoder. So we want to do MP3, but we want to do Custom. Because we want to make sure that we have the MP3 quality at the highest, which is 320. So we click OK once again. Now, also, depending on how you want to organize your music, you want to uh, select on and off this option under the Advanced tab, Copy Files to iTunes Media folder when adding to library. If you're going to keep your files in your internal drive, then you want to keep this on. This will copy everything that you drag into iTunes from any external hard drives. If you want to keep your music on an external drive and you just want iTunes to read it, then you want to check this off so it doesn't duplicate your library on your internal drive. So I keep it checked on because I keep everything in my internal drive. All right, so now I'm going to show you how I use iTunes to organize my music and to create smart playlists. Now, if you want to create a regular playlist, you can simply go over to the plus sign or you can go up to file and new playlist that will create a regular playlist that you can name we'll call this house 2 and then you can simply just add music to it now the only problem with this kind of playlist is that you have to update it manually but iTunes also has smart playlists which are playlists that you can create setting certain rules with the music that you have. Now, one of the most important things that you want to do is you want to label all your music. You want to make sure that in the artist column is the artist name, the name of the track. If you want to put comments like the, uh, the key code and also the genre, the beats per minute. And you can look at all that by simply right clicking and going to get info. And there you'll have all your information, you can edit it and make sure it's correct. That way when you make the smart playlist, everything will fall into place. Now, to create a smart playlist, you go up to File and do Create New Smart Playlist. Now in this window is where you're going to add all your rules. So in this case, let's say I want my genre to be is electro so now once I hit OK that's gonna create as you see I already have one a smart playlist that has all the songs that I have labeled as electro now if I add a new song to my library with the genre electro it's gonna automatically add it to here so that's a quick way for you to keep your playlist updated without you having to do it manually. Now you can set more than one rule, uh, and I'm going to show you here. Let's say Aventura, which is one of my Latin smart playlists. If I go to right click and edit smart playlist, in this case, the genre is bachata and the artist is Aventura. So any song that I have that's genre bachata and Artist Aventura will automatically go to that smart playlist. Now in my reggaeton collection, I went as far as grouping all the songs that had the same key code. So when you look at this smart playlist right here, if I edit the smart playlist to look at the rules, the genre is reggaeton and the comments is 1A. 
So these are all the songs that I have that are 1A. And now this is 2A, 3A, 4A, and then also all the combinations. So you can get really, really crazy with these smart playlists without actually building them manually. You can go in, set your rules. As long as your music is organized with all the right columns and everything labeled correctly, you'll be able to do some incredible things with these smart playlists without having to do a lot of work. Another advantage of using iTunes to organize your music is that you can use it with any DJ platform. So it doesn't matter what DJ software you're using, they all read iTunes. Hopefully with this video, you can organize your music in iTunes and make it more efficient for you to work and DJ.